The GG Go to Address function allows you to direct Game Guardian to the memory location you want to interact with, setting up for further actions like reading or writing values. The function takes a single parameter, which is the address you want to navigate to, represented in hexadecimal format. If the address is correct and valid, Game Guardian will allow you to perform further actions. In the provided example, the goal is to set the player's health to 100, and it is crucial to note that the address for the health value is predefined and known. The first line defines a local variable called health address, which holds the hexadecimal address of the player's health. This address is already known, indicating that the user has previously found this memory location. Next, the go to address function call Game Guardian to navigate to the specified memory address, preparing for further actions. We are declaring a local variable named results. This variable will be used to store the data we get from the get values function. By declaring it as local, we limit its scope to the block of code in which it is defined, preventing it from affecting other parts of the script. The getValues function takes a table as its parameter. In this case, we are passing a table that contains another table with two key value pairs. The health address variable holds the address of the player's health, which we defined earlier. Flags assigned to dword indicates the data type of the value we are trying to read. The if block of code is designed to check the results obtained from the previous get values call. It verifies whether the retrieval of the health value was successful or if there were any issues. The length operator is used to get the length of the results table. This checks if the table is empty. If it is equal to zero, it means that no values were returned from the get values call, indicating that the health address could not be found in memory. Or, results with bracket notation 1, value equal to nil. This part checks if the first entry in the results table exists and whether its value is nil. The use of the or operator means that if either of these conditions is true, the code inside the if block will execute. The return statement is used to exit the current function. This prevents any further code from executing since proceeding without a valid health value would likely lead to errors or unintended behavior. If the if condition is not met, meaning the address was found and the value is valid, the code inside the else block will execute. Next block extracts the player's current health from the results table that was populated by the earlier get values call. The results table contains the values retrieved from the memory address, and results with bracket notation 1 represents the first entry in that table. Dot value is used to access the actual value stored at the specified memory address. Now, current health variable holds the current health of the player, and we can use it in subsequent checks. If the player's health is already at 100, the script, shows a message to the user saying that no changes were made since the health is already at the desired value. If the player's health is not 100, it will proceed to the else block, where it will modify the health value. This line sets the value at the first entry in the results table to 100. In other words, it updates the value stored at the previously defined memory address to 100, effectively setting the player's health to full. The setValues function applies the change. It takes the modified results table and writes the new values back into the game's memory. Without this step, the change to results wouldn't affect the game. After setting the health to 100, this part of the code rereads the memory address to verify that the change was successful. The newly retrieved health value is stored in a variable called new health. This is done to confirm that the health was correctly updated to 100.
The function, go to address, is crucial in Game Guardian for directly navigating to a specific memory address, which is highly useful when you already know where important game values are stored. It saves time by avoiding repeated memory scans, ensures precise changes to the game's memory, and simplifies script development. It speeds up the process, reduces errors, and provides more control over memory manipulation, making your scripts faster and more reliable.